Hi, welcome back to GUI AI. We are looking at how to generate an AI image with a face. This basically means that we'll use a real person's face and, uh, and run it through our workflow and it will give you a stable diffusion generated image. Uh, so we've already got an example here of this is Archana. She, she's our CEO and co-founder at GUI and we've run the run the workflow and now it uh, her face has been cropped out and it looks like she's in a Christmassy kind of a space. Uh, the way it runs is it takes the image and repositions it, takes a mask and takes that mask and regenerates based on top of that and then we also have a GFP GAN running which does a bit of face restoration as well. Uh, so we'll uh, continue using her image and we, I will run you through the settings and maybe we'll change the prompt out a little bit. So we are kind of getting a little bit more into spring and summer. So we will change this out to say uh, a woman wearing a uh, summer hat, sipping a cool summer cocktail. Uh, with the bokeh effect of, uh, instead of Christmas tree, we'll say uh, beautiful park. And we use the same image in the settings. It's pretty much like stable diffusion settings. Um, it's got negative prompts. You can run quality output. And now we even have a drop down to get the right kind of resolutions uh, in terms of uh, your aspect ratios. Uh, I'm going to run it all in the, in the same uh, settings. And what we've done here in face repositioning is that we crop the face out and then reposition it to a different place. So this I will change just to give you a different sense of what it looks like. Uh, and you can see that it moves where the uh, face is to be repositioned. So we'll take it a little bit into the bottom left corner. And so, uh, and then we will hit submit. So you can see it's running the GFP GAN, which means that the image is almost ready. Uh, and there you have it. It's a bit off, like there are ways to make sure that it comes out uh, better. But what I can do is I can show you again in terms of like our examples, what we've tried, and it'll give you a better idea. This is Sean. He is a co-founder and CEO. Uh, he is now here as Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, and then we have a couple of examples of um, Archana in Paris and uh, another generated image of a model. So the thing to remember is that uh, this kind of tweaking takes a bit of time. You have to figure out the prompt yourself. It's not magic, uh, but it's really useful in uh, any kind of workflow that you might, to might like to do. In fact, uh, one of our uh, clients, Fandom, has been using this for their uh, projects as well for mods to be able to turn themselves into characters of their favorite films. So uh, it's an interesting workflow uh, and has some exciting opportunities. So let us know how you're using it. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always uh, email us at support at GUI.ai or you can hop into our Discord, which is now growing and fairly active. And you'll get to know more of what's happening at GUI.ai. Thank you.